I remember the first time I donated blood, that was 7 years ago. Initially, I was a little hesitant about giving blood because I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into. But I had some chemists who were regular blood donors and they encouraged me to join them. So I thought, I might just give it a try. In the end, the whole experience was a lot less scary than I thought. Today, thinking about giving blood and how it gives life to other people, I feel that donating blood is a natural thing to do. My husband and I were both looking forward to the arrival of our second baby. After all, my first delivery went quite smoothly, so we didn't expect any complications. The only concern was that I had a low-lying placenta, so my doctor advised that if I should bleed, even slightly, I should go to the hospital immediately. <laughs> I was shocked when I woke up and noticed that I was bleeding very heavily. I started to panic because I had never experienced this before. I felt faint and could not breathe properly. I was very worried for my baby. My husband and I felt so helpless and the only thought we had was to get to the hospital as quickly as we could. Do you think we can make it on time? We'll be there soon, okay? If you haven't donated blood before, I guess the process can be a little scary. But it's common for first time donors to feel a little anxious. But it's really very simple and anyone can do it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lee. Yeah. Have a seat, the doctor will call you shortly. Other than the slight pinch when she administered the anesthetic, most people will not feel any pain during blood donation. The withdrawal of blood in itself takes about 5 to 10 minutes, after which you'll be asked to rest 10 to 15 minutes before you take your refreshments. If for any reason you feel your blood is unsafe for transfusion, call the blood bank if you don't want them to use your blood after donation. When Linda arrived at the hospital, the doctors had to do an emergency C-section because she was losing too much blood. Do you think the baby is okay? I'll be fine. In total, they needed 10 units of blood and blood products to save my wife and child. It was then I realised that how important it is to have readily available blood. I've always thought that I was a healthy person and I never expected that I would one day be in urgent need of blood. I'm just really thankful that blood was available when I needed it. That was a traumatic experience and it also made me realise how we take things in life for granted. But having come so close to nearly losing a loved one, I learned that every unit of donated blood can make a difference. And now, I do donate blood regularly, once every three months. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, he's so cute. Does he look like you? Mm. Mm. A bit the nose? It is amazing what one blood donation can achieve. Each packet of blood can save up to three persons' lives as it is processed into red blood cells, plasma, and platelets. Each of these will then be used to treat patients with the different medical conditions such as anemia, leukemia, and blood clotting problems. Each packet of blood undergoes stringent testing to ensure that it is safe for transfusion. Most people aren't aware that the blood bank should have at least 6 days supplies of blood at all times. Having a pool of regular donors helps ensure that we have sufficient blood or blood products for patients, especially during emergencies. You know, Singapore is so small, your blood can go to anyone out there. It can be someone standing right next to you or even someone you know. One thing's for sure, once your blood leaves your body, you will embark on a journey of its own. And that journey ends with saving lives.